Hi, I'm Marshall Harvey, and welcome back to Trailers from Hell. I think most movie lovers have a few guilty pleasures up their sleeve. Films that they know may not entirely work, but are filled with wonderful things, so they just can't help falling in love, whether it's the cinematography or the cast or, or the music. Well, I love all those things and more in a film I discovered on the bottom half of a double bill back in 1967. It's Roman Polanski's The Fearless Vampire Killers, or Pardon Me, But Your Teeth Are In My Neck. This was the first Polanski movie I ever saw, but soon had to catch up with his earlier films, Knife in the Water, Repulsion, and Cul-de-Sac. Unfortunately, this is a very misleading trailer. Someone at MGM decided to string together every bit of physical comedy and sell the movie as a silly, madcap romp. And while the film does have its share of pratfalls, it's really filled with Polanski's dark, Kafka-esque, theater of the absurd kind of humor. And that's what led to its disastrous American release. Is it supposed to be funny or scary? Well, the answer is both. The studio chopped 12 minutes out, revoiced some of the main characters, and added an awful cartoon prologue. Polanski disowned it. But fortunately, a few years ago, the movie was restored to his original version. That's known in Europe as Dance of the Vampires. And that's the version that's available on DVD and shown at revival theaters. Polanski had a top-notch British crew at his disposal and a wonderful cast including himself and the terrific character actor Jack McGowan as the professor and the lovely Sharon Tate, the future Mrs. Polanski. Alfie Bass as the innkeeper, he's got the funniest line in the movie. Deep-voiced Ferdy Maine, I think makes a very convincing vampire. And Terry Downs as the beaver, or uh, the creepy hunchback. This movie has a beautiful Grimm's fairy tale look to it with great costumes, makeup, production design, and veteran Douglas Slocum's cinematography. And I absolutely love the atmospheric score by Polish composer Christopher Komita, who went on to do the music for Polanski's masterpiece, Rosemary's Baby. If you like Polanski's movies, definitely check this one out. It may become one of your guilty pleasures. Oh,